academy and jit academy cyber trade cyber security and medicine. they're aggregated partners with partners with yeah. uh we have a trainer i have six plus Level. So, uh, EC Council, Tech Mahindra, etc. So, uh, yeah, so let's uh, quickly jump on to uh, uh, the course today. So before we uh, jump on to today's uh, session, let me just give you a brief introduction about our. Uh, so let me just share my screen before we. I, I think my screen is visible to you guys, right? So, we uh, are www.git. You can do visit our website to get a lot of information about us. Like we are. This is also known as JT. Yeah. <coughs> you can contact us. Related to uh, training courses and our uh, last. We provide a lot of services like this. You can just go through this and try to understand TV partners. So you can just uh, go back and have a look into our site, find out more about what we do and what is our uh, training. Well, uh, let's get back to EC Council. So uh, today we will be talking about EC Council ESA. ESA stands for Certified Stock Analysis, right? So that's what we. So let me quickly uh, come back here to EC. Okay, so uh, this is an open voucher uh, voucher of uh, EC Council Stock Analysis. So uh, you must be wondering from where did I get that? So it's simple. Just go to uh, ECCouncil.org. Uh, it's, it's like it's, it's available to all, so anybody can log into this and go to the program session here. So you have various programs and trainings offered by EC Council, right? So EC Council training will be handled or will be taken by EC Council Aggregated Training Center. So we at GIT, we are EC Council Aggregated Training Center. So any training or any uh, uh, program from here, you can select and you can come to us and we will be training you on that. So as of today, we will be learning uh, EC Council stock analysis, certified stock analysis. Uh, all right, so this is the program. You just click on that. And after that, you can scroll down to check what exactly it is. So let's come back to stock. So certified stock analysis. So this program is the first step to you in the journey of your security operation center. So it's the very first step. So uh, moreover, this is you know uh, coming up in two tiers. That's tier one and tier two. Okay. Uh, so basically, you know, uh, you, you can at, at, at the initial level, you'll be given the role of entry level, and then you'll be given the role of intermediate level operation. So uh, when we undergo the training, you will understand what is entry level operations and what is intermediate level operations. So who are the people? Who, uh, what do L1 SOC uh, engineers or SOC analysts do? And what intermediate level SOC analysts do? You will understand that once you start the training. Well, uh, this is about the course description. You can just go through it. So I'm, 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 tell, I'm giving you the link as well. It is ecconsult.org. Right. So uh, the, there are other things like the eligibility criteria. Who is eligible? You can just go through that and find out if you are eligible to take this training or not. So who are the target organization? Uh, the the target uh, audience. So who are the people they are uh, expecting to learn this? So the stock analysts, so tier one and tier two, they have to undergo the training. So basically, they will be working uh, uh, working professionals in this domain, but yet this training will enhance their knowledge in the field of thought. Uh, next is uh, the network security administrators, security network security engineers, network 
We have uh, network defense analysts, network defense technicians, network security. All these people can undergo this training. Cybersecurity analysts, entry-level cybersecurity professionals, anyone who wants to become a SOC analyst. So these are the target audience who can take up this SOC analyst training. And the duration is three days. So three days is just the corporate time. It's just a boot camp. So it, you'll have an eight-hour long training for a day. So it's 888, which is 24 hours minimum. Of. So uh, we at GIT, we extend the time from 24 to 30 hours uh, just to, you know, in case we have some issues or something. That's the reason we have a maximum time of 30. So the minimum time is 24, and we could extend that to a maximum time of 30 hours. And, and it, it, it depends on how you take up it. You can either, uh, you know, take up uh, week, weekdays or weekends. Up to you. Next. About the certification. So after completing the training, uh, the candidates can also test how much they know. Uh, basically, you stating that they can be certified. And certification adds a lot of weightage to your resume. So whenever you're going out uh, in the industry, trying to find a job, trying to switch the domain, certification, certification is what uh, uh, you know uh, makes you stand out of the out of the crowd. So you're basically one of uh, such person who has a certification, and you have to prove. Right. So here we have some exam details here. Let's just quickly go through this. So the CSA exam is designed to test and validate a candidate's comprehensive understanding. As a job task, requires a stock analysis. So basically, we're just trying to un make uh, you understand the candidate, understand what his job as a stock analysis, so what he'll be doing, and and basically uh, uh, to understand how the workflow is in stock. That's the motto behind the certification exam. <clears throat> so the exam title here is stock analysis, and the code. Exam code is uh, 312 39 or 39. And the total number of questions are 100, out of which uh, you will have to score 70 percent. That is, out of 100 questions, you will have to get 70 questions right in the duration of three hours. So the three hours is the maximum time given to you to complete the paper with three hours. Okay. And the test format will be multiple choice. And it will be uh, strictly uh, monitored by EC Council exam. Okay, it's strictly monitored by EC Council. And you can just go through the eligibility. So, who is eligible here? So, CSA program requires a candidate to have one year of work experience in network security or network admin domain and should be able to provide proof for the same as validated through the application process under the candidate attendee. So this is basically, you know, uh, for the exam point of view, what when when, when you're supposed to choose your uh, things and stuff like that. So let's not, uh, you know, uh, talk about it. Let's go to the next. But we have various training options. You can uh, also look into it. It uh, will be, you know, the part of your, uh, you know, uh, it should be part of your plan. Well, uh, finally, let's come back to the course outline. So in the course outline, and we have six modules. Module 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So module 1 is basically uh, the introduction, introductory module wherein uh, we will be learning about the security operations and management. So what exactly SOC is, what exactly the operations are, uh, how do you manage these operations, what are the different uh, level of people who manage these operations. So just a complete overview of what SOC is. In the second module, we will learn the threats, cyber threats, various threats at different levels. Then we will learn indicator of compromises, which is IOCs, and attack methodology. So attack methodology is what kind of methodology is a person using to perform an attack or a hacker is using. So that is what we will be learning. In module three, uh, we will be going with incidents. So what incidents are, what events are, and how these events are found. Logging. Right. So these are the three important, uh, you know, topics that we will be covering in module three. Okay. So your complete module uh, is depending upon it, and, and uh, you know, various we will try to, you know, uh, log into various events. We'll try to go through the logs, find out what exactly the events or the incidents are using the logs. 
Next in the module four, uh, we have uh, incident detection. So now, how do I detect that this is an incident? Yes, this is an incident of an attack. So this is a potential attack. So how do I? So for that, we have various options. So in the fourth module, we will be learning security information and event management. So we will be detecting an incident using a tool or a technology called security information and event management. Right? So this is what we'll be doing. And in fifth module, again, we will do incident detection, but with, by using a different tool or different technology with a, with a threat intelligence. Right? So the same uh, uh, incident detection we are doing, different uh, you know, tools or two different technologies you can say as a whole. But in module six, we will do the incident response. So how do I respond to an event? So suppose this is an attack, so the attack has taken place and it gets logged, and how do I uh, uh, you know, uh, reply to it or how do I respond to it? So these are the six modules that we will be having. And remember, this course will be a two-way course in which uh, in the first part, we will be going with the theoretical uh, viewpoint of the, of the course. That is, we will be completing the module. Theoretically, I'll tell you the concept, what this concept means. And once we are done with the theoretical concept, the next step is we will be performing hands-on labs for them. Right? So, so it, it will be like this. So once we complete a module, uh, that is, once we have completely understood, gained the knowledge about the concept, the next is how do we practically put these concepts into picture. So for that, we have uh, the lab given by us, uh, lab given uh, to us by EC Council. So, so these are your EC Council labs we have. So here I've started a lab. Uh, so this is uh, module two lab that I'm started here. So you can just uh, you know uh, do your lab here. You can navigate to different things here, uh, and you can do the lab. So now you must be wondering how, what to be done. So for that, we have uh, the uh, uh, you know uh, lab guide with us. So the lab guide gives a complete idea about what you're doing, right? So what you're doing, so what exactly you're performing. So if you put up a command, what will be the result of it? So everything is there in this uh, lab guide, right? So you will be having to uh, look into the lab guide and perform the lab so that uh, you understand the concept, understand the work, uh, understand the flow of the lab uh, to be uh, more well versed with the uh, concept. So this is how uh, the training will go, right? So I hope uh, uh, it's clear to you guys. Thank you so much for uh, being a part of uh, this session. Thank you.